Speakers are making headway in Egypt, where local assemblies giving them the edge over their competitors despite their relatively late entry to the market. The North African country is a high potential market as well as a gateway to North Africa and the rest of the Middle East. CCTV's Adele El Mahrouhi has the details. When they were first introduced in Egypt, Chinese cars faced an uphill challenge. Coming in at lower end of the market, they were often purchased for their lower prices, but had a reputation for non-durability. Egyptian importers were one of the reasons behind the spread of that perception. At the first introductory of Chinese cars, they did not have validated specs information, so we at the Egyptian Automobile Information Center had to get the information through marketing intelligence instead of the importer himself. Fast forward a few years and Chinese cars have become the fastest growing category in the Egyptian automobile market. Consumer perception changed towards the Chinese products. The Egyptian importer started demanding vehicles with specific standards. This made a big change for the Egyptian consumer. Prices is no longer the only factor for purchasing a Chinese car. It is one of the factors of evaluation. Now quality is in the equation after it became better. The current political turmoil has weakened demand. Egypt plans to absorb 190,000 cars in 2013, instead of 380,000. The strengthening of the U.S. dollar to the Egyptian pounds over the last month will only add to the current weaknesses in demand. While the market doesn't seem very strong at the moment, the underlying shift in the positive perception of Chinese cars looks set to continue. The dollar is increasing. Importing will cost more. Nothing more is expected for the Egyptian market. Egypt is scheduled to approve a 10% decrease in customs on European cars, but for assembling in Egypt. Chinese cars have a lot of potential. Agreements like Comesa and the Agadir makes it easier for China to export from Egypt to other African continents and the Middle East with no tariffs. Chinese cars began to appear in Egypt in 2006 with an illegible market share. Six years later, China's automakers have managed to grab a solid 8% of the market. By 2016, Egyptian cars manufacturers believe it would easily double. The Egyptian economy might not seem interesting with the current political instability, but for Chinese cars with the reputation they made and the low income most Egyptians have, they became the most convenient for the market. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.